Hello everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for clicking on the video. So in today's video I wanted to go through a couple of flip throughs of these lovely uh, German books, German colouring books by Ursula Schwab. Um, and so I've got a selection here. Now I was first introduced to these books by watching um, a YouTube video by Imogen from Colouring Kid. And she had two books that she showed and I will link the um, her video below so that if you want to have a flip if you want to have a, w a watch of the flip through of these two books then you can go over to her channel so there's a winter one and a sort of an autumnal one here so that this one translates as my winter world I think and then this one is um, forest whispers I think okay so they are really really nice uh, books really nicely illustrated so if you want to have a proper flip through um, where she goes through each of these books then you can go to the video which I will link in the description below so I got a couple more of um, Ursula's books um, here and I haven't seen a flip through of these two so I thought I'd do a flip through of this so this one here is um, Garden Happiness and then this smaller one as you can see the size is smaller is called Colour Birds and Butterflies and Relax so we'll have a look at this smaller one first the Birds and Butterflies one so it is smaller and it follows the same style as the other books um, they're all part of this colourful moments and there's a paper well yeah quite flexible paper cover um, and then at the back you've got this sort of another paper cover and then thick cardboard that is really quite thick so um, let's have a look through so again at the front of all her books I'll bring you in a little bit closer so you can see a little bit better maybe a touch more um, so at the front of course this is all in German so I can't read any of it but you could translate it if you so wished but I think it's things to do with colour theory and um, sort of hints and tips with colouring probably so here we have these are all um, single sided illustrations the paper is really good quality um, so you could and, and I will once I start colouring in these I will um, use watercolour um, not paints but watercolour pencils I think and I'll, I'll, I'll be careful how much water I put on because although it is fairly good quality it's it's you know not watercolour paper or card so this is a lovely sort of a patterned design um, like that and then here we've got a bunch of birds I just like her style of um, pictures some more butterflies, nice little scene with clouds in the background. This has got birds and um, some butterflies on it. Um, on some grass, I think. A couple of birds there and butterflies. This is a nice one. And I like these little circular things. So you could do all sorts. You can use your gel pens your pencils, your alcohol markers if you wish so nice little hummingbird there and because it's a smaller book that would then mean that you can complete the pictures quicker so um, nice little board around this one as well I like bordered pictures, I really like this one so if you like birds and you like colouring butterflies as well then this is going to be a good buy for you so all of these books I purchased from Amazon UK um, I would assume that you'd probably be able to get them on Amazon US as well that looks like lovebirds there because these are love hearts in the background some more butterflies with a circular sort of reef design feathers that looks like a robin to me you could do that as a nice um, sort of a winter scene because there's some berries there <coughs> excuse me 
So yeah, really nice um, pictures. Parrot, different types of birds. Again, another circular design with loads of butterflies in the middle. You could do all sorts with this. You could stick to a, a minimum colour palette or just make it like all out colourful. I think these are swans. Peacock. And then we've got a good, uh, good old owl there. So there's lots of pages in this book. Um, you can see as I'm flipping through it. Um, dragonfly one single butterfly so yeah I really like buying um, books by um, you know artists and I don't mind if they're in if they're not in English because I'm only going to colour the pictures so yeah that's um, is that the one we came across earlier? Let's have a look. It might be. I'm sure we saw that as our first picture. Yeah, it is. So that's a repeat of the first picture there. Or oh, actually, hang on, it's not, because look, there's birds there. And these are all butterflies, so no, it's not a repeat. I initially thought that I'd, I'd seen that exactly the same, but it's not, so it's different. So yeah, recently I've been doing more flip through videos because I just haven't had the time to do a um, like a colour and chat video but I do want to do some maybe hopefully in the Christmas holidays um, once we get to December I may have a bit more time fine detail. So some of these um, pictures are more detailed than others. So there we go, that's the end of the book and you've got the publisher information there and a little dragonfly. So um, yeah, that's the first book I wanted to show you, um, which is the one that is Colour Birds and Butterflies and Relax. So that's the first one. Okay, so the next one is the garden one, and I really like um, I really like Johanna Basford books. Um, really like her style of uh, col sort of coloured pictures that she draws as well. So this was right up my street. So this is called Garden Happiness. I think it means um, colour garden happiness or something like that. So yeah, let's get let's have a look at this again. You start. It's the same format as the other one. Lovely little frog picture here there as an introduction to to your book and then again it's about materials that you can use for colouring um, everything in German of course because it is a German book uh, so we'll just quickly go through these quickly right so now these have also got quotes on on the other side of the page so that's the first picture that we've got so it's got all sorts of I think it's the front page, yeah, it is the front page um, of the book. So you could, um, just like the other winter one and the um, the forest one, actually, if you wanted to find out from Google Translate what, what these quotes are. I really like this one as well. I really like the detail on it. It's like a nice little relaxing chair to sit on in the garden. I like this one with the bird houses and I like the border around the picture. Lovely tree with butterflies. I like this image as well. Grand house, it says welcome in English actually here rather than in German. flower picture so this has got like a bit like a mandala circular style picture as well 
This is a nice garden scene with some water and and reeds as well. I do really like this garden one. Then you've got some sort of lizard there. So it combines plants and trees and things like that with with um, creatures that you might find. So this is a nice like a um, gardens on the top of buildings. It's really nice. Aqualegia. I'm not sure what that means. Does this mean coffee or something? Coffee in the garden. I really like this one as well, but and I like this grey sort of um, shading here that you've got. I think it makes it look really unique. I like this bee one. Lovely. I like colouring bees. So there's a statue one. Lots of flowers. One great big flower. I think this means um, something to do with neighbourhood because I did look it up when I first got the book. So yeah, a couple of moles there. To good neighbourhood or something that means. I can't exactly remember. Then we've got a little dog in, in a pond. <laughs> the frog's thinking, oh no, are you gonna gonna come into the water? Looks a bit worried. I like the little cute snails there. Look at all these little cute little birds and then a dog there in the middle. Butterflies again. A couple of bunnies. Oh, you often find these in some gardens, in posh gardens, a sundial. I think they look really nice. These birds have got a funny expression and for their legs they've got spades, like gardening equipment. It's quite funny. You might have to look at what this means. That looks quite nice. That looks like a newly married couple in an air balloon. And yeah, that's like the wedding, like like a wedding party. So yeah, there's an interesting mix of pictures, um, interesting variety, which is always good in any book. Our basket of flowers, I like how that looks. So yeah, I can't wait to actually start colouring in here. I think I've got too many books, as most colourists say, too many books and not enough time to colour. That's the frog from the front page and it's in a full scene now. I think that's a little garden gnome of some sort. Maybe a fairy, it's got wings. I really like bordered pictures. Oh, this is cute as well. Oh, and then you've got some fish here in a pond. That looks really nice. And a dragonfly, like that scene, definitely. And maybe these are like things that, yeah, I think you can cut these out so you can colour them and use them as tags. That's an interesting thing to do. Um, so all the pages lie very flat. I hope it doesn't come apart. I don't think it's stitch bound. I think it's just glue bound. So have to be a little bit careful with the book, I think. This is quite interesting. Watering cans of different size and shapes. This one's in English, Time for Gardening, and then you've got lots of different gardening sort of equipment wheelbarrow etc, boots, rake. So if you're into gardening as well I think you'd like this book most definitely if you like colouring this sort of stuff. This is a really cute image of lots of birds but it's like a 
bird's eye view I suppose from the top I really like this one as well with the magnifying glass and then you can see a bigger detail of the ants carrying a strawberry there I think and then there's a line of ants there um, really cute This is cute, a snail in the middle. Again, it's a circular, a bit like a mandala pattern. So there are a few mandala patterns in here. That's such a fun one to do. I might actually do that one first. It's just up my street. I like colouring little, little critters. Pumpkin and vegetables. Butternut. Butternut squash, that probably is. Sweet dumpling. I don't know what the other ones mean because they're in German. I think these are foxgloves. Could be wrong, but possibly. A little garden shed and a spade. There's loads of pages to colour. It will keep you busy for a long time. mushrooms here and some some tree trunks that have been chopped down this is a cute one how cute is that it's like um, the um, raccoon a raccoon I think it's trying to um, nick something there so actually, yeah, this has come, oh, just notice, yeah, this has come away from the rest of the book. So it has come apart a little bit, but that doesn't, I mean, it's a shame it has, but it doesn't bother me too much. But yeah, it has come away, so because it is only glue bound. But I can still enjoy the pictures and I will still colour them. So yeah, that is the thing. I, I do prefer my books to be stitch bound and glue bound because they stay together then but yeah you can see there that that's come away unfortunately um because it is only glue bound you can see the glue there so yeah some of it's there but yeah i mean i can still work with that that's fine um okay so that's the garden group i'm not sure how you say that but that's the uh, Garden Happiness book um, and the other one that I flipped through was this one. So I will also link um, the Amazon links to actually purchase these books if you are interested. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye.